welcome back to Prestonsburg as boys teams out on the floor warming up as we're getting ready to start this second game here tonight. Prestonsburg and Betts Lane and uh, Justin, both of these teams coming in. Yeah, both doing pretty good this year. One and three in the district, so it's a big district yeah. game for them. The two teams tied. You're right now. You got a tie for first and a tie for second in the in the district. Yeah. Uh, Floyd Central and Lawrence County both at three and two. Prestonsburg and Betsy Lane one and three, but the one win that Prestonsburg has the no, last the time out was over yeah. Lawrence County. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, Prestonburg kind of holds their own destiny here. They've got so many games left. Yeah. If they protect their home here and they could somehow get Betsy Lane twice, I mean, they would end up four and two uh, in the district. And that would, that would, I think that would have to tie you for the one seed. Be three and three. They're, oh, they're yeah. one and three right now. And I think they have uh, Lawrence County another time, maybe, or? Yeah, they've still got Lawrence County and. and two games uh, for Betsy Lane. Yeah. They, they're finished with Floyd Central. Yeah, I thought they were just one and two in the district. No, they, they've got uh, they got Floyd Central uh, here on the uh, third. That's uh, Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. And Betsy Lane that night has uh, Lawrence County. Yes. So that'll be a, yes. a big district matchup uh, Friday night. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, take care of business here. Uh, as uh, their host in Betsy Lane, Prestonburg is led in scoring by Braxton Keithley, a freshman, 13.8 points a game. Connor Napier, double-figure scorer with 10 and a half points a game. Then you got three players at eight points a game. That would be Caden Allen, Brian Halbert, and Caleb Lawson. So good balance scoring uh, for the uh, Black Cats, and as far as uh, rebounding goes, uh, Connor Napier, uh, seven, and then you got three players at four rebounds a game, so uh, it's more of a uh, rebounding by committee, yeah. as we say. Yeah. Uh, Prestonsburg, as far as scoring-wise, averaging 65 points a game, and three-point shooting, they average six makes a game, so they get some of their scoring from the three-point line. Yes, absolutely. Um, just like you said, kind of by committee. Uh, for Betsy Lane, they shooting 46% from the field, 30% from the three-point line, and 74 from the free throw line. Uh, led in scoring by Brady Robinson, 21 points a game. Andrew Kidd at 17 points a game. Uh, Pente at nine. Byron Tackett at nine. And Carter Parsons at eight. And they're... Uh, Kind of limited on the uh, depth-wise, but they, they put a good solid five on the floor just about all the time. Um, they're averaging 71 points a game, and uh, rebounding-wise, uh, Andrew Kidd and Byron Tackett are the leading rebounders. Andrew at eight rebounds a game, Byron Tackett at six, uh, Carter Parsons at four, Brady Robinson at four, and Cameron Pente at three. So... Um, I think this is going to be a great matchup. Obviously, these kids grew up playing against each other, so they know each other well. And, um, you know, this is Chase's first time, the Prestonsburg coach, Coach Parsley, his first time going up against uh, Betsy Lane. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, the, the athleticism that um, Betsy Lane has is uh, hard to match in practice, for sure, with uh, Brady and Andrew. And Cameron Pinta, he's probably one of the top defenders, if not the top defender in the region, for sure. Yeah, Betsy Lane, their last game out, I think it was. Uh, have, have they played? They've not played uh, since they played uh, Floyd Central. No, no, that's had, the last had, time they had the 11 point loss over at Floyd Central. And like we said, uh, Prestonsburg, uh, their last game out uh, defeated uh, Lawrence County, and that was. Uh, here on their home floor. So uh, uh, that was a 72 66 win over Lawrence County. So, you know, uh, you expect uh, if, if you're going to uh, end up with the number one or two seed in the district, you've got to hold par here on the uh, yeah. 
the home court, and that's what uh, Prestonburg done so far. So yeah, I was looking. They're just one and two because they've still got they yeah. can still win three games because they've got Betsy Lane twice and Floyd Central. And you pick up those three wins and you split with Lawrence County. Uh, you're probably looking at the one seed. You're, you're exactly right. Betsy Lane and them was one, and yeah. uh, they're, they're one and two. And if you're Betsy uh, Lane, again, three. you're in the same situation as well. You could yeah. get Prestonsburg twice here and uh, beat Lawrence County at home, and you're sitting at four and two. So, well, I mean, this is a big, big, big-time game with some implications. Well, you know, uh, the the way things is working out right now and with the schedules, uh, you could have a uh, – three-way tie or maybe a four-way yeah, tie, you know, at, uh, for the uh, number yeah. one spot here. And uh, then I don't know what to do then because uh, I don't know if they got that many coins to flip. You well, know, they do it by do. point differential. I don't know if you remember. You remember last year we yeah. were doing the Lawrence County Floyd Central game and they needed to win by 12 or or whatever it was and they won by one extra point and got the one seat over in Lawrence County last year in the girls matchup. I was talking to Tony Isaac about it uh, last week. And it goes um, head to head, obviously. And then if it's a tie, uh, if you split, then it goes to point differential up to 15 points. So be interesting to see how, I mean, there are just so many different scenarios that can play out here. We, and obviously we, it starts tonight. Yeah, it starts tonight. Uh, uh, Freud Central and, and uh, Lawrence County has only got two games left. And Prestonburg and Bates Lane's got three. So, yeah. and, and they're playing each other. Yeah. As we said, you know, Friday night you That's got a big uh, one too. Benson Lane and at Lawrence County, and Floyd then Central you got Floyd and Central here yeah. at Prestonsburg. So a lot will uh, be known by Saturday morning. You'll have a, a lot better picture of uh, what's going to happen, or it could just get even muddier. Yeah, it could <laughs> be even muddier. That's exactly <laughs> right. So we're going to take a break, and when we return, we'll have the starting lineups of tonight's second game between Prestonsburg and Betsy Lane. This year in a Mountain Sports Network. Gear Hard Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. You can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gear Hard Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click gearhardfiber.com to find out more. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. AppalachianWireless.com is here to make your life easier. Sign in or create a self-care account to pay bills, view usage, or check contract dates. You can also apply for paperless billing and auto pay to save up to $5 per phone per month on postpaid plans. It's self-care from Appalachian Wireless. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Nutt County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come bless me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. 
Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. This changes everything. Gear Heart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gear Heart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Back here at Prestonsburg, about two minutes to go before the start of the 58th District Showdown. Betsy Lane and Prestonsburg. And, you know, like we were saying earlier, big time implications on who can. Uh, you know, if you're Prestonsburg, you obviously want to protect your home floor. If you're Betsy Lane, you want to steal anything you can. Um, yeah, Betsy Lane, uh, they've uh, their uh, roster has shrank. They've just got nine players right now suiting up on the bench, so they're having to play some Iron Man basketball yeah. right now. Uh, so they they would uh, welcome a, a nice win. Yeah, you need to, you know, you're bouncing back from a loss last Friday at the hands of Floyd Central. So you want to get back in the win column here. No better place than a county rival. Both teams at the bench. Ready to get started. We still got a minute left on the clock. That's what we've seen in the girls' game. These teams come out ready yeah, to play. Yeah, everybody's ready to go. Which everybody might want to get this one started a little earlier. It's almost eight o'clock for a seven thirty tip. Nice it, crowd, though. Good student yeah. section over there for Prestonsburg. Pretty good. Uh, Student section here for Betsy Lane starting to gather up down here. And on the uh, end zone uh, that has the seats here to our left, there's the yeah. for a nice crowd scattered out through it. So that's what you get. To, that's what you expect. Uh, uh, we still call it Floyd County basketball. Of course, we got Lawrence County in there now. But uh, yeah. when you got Betsy Lane and Floyd and Floyd Central and Pressburg playing, it's Floyd County basketball, yes, right? Floyd County basketball. This is old school 58th district right here. That's exactly right. From way back. From way back. Yeah, I can. You can only imagine how many times uh, these teams have played each other. Well. And there's the horn. And welcome to Prestonsburg High School Fieldhouse. Tonight, it's the Betsy Lane Bobcats and your Prestonsburg Black Cats. <laughs> Introducing first the guests on the scoreboard, the Betsy Lane Bobcats starters. Starting it forward, number 22, Byron Tackett. At guard, number 10, Brady Robinson. At guard, number 5, Andrew Kidd. At guard, number 4, Cameron Pinta. And at guard, number 0, Carter Parsons. They're coached by Derek Newsom. Your Prestonsburg Black Cats. <laughs> Starting it forward, number one, Connor Napier. At guard, number five, Caden Allen. At guard, number 11, Caden. 
Johnson. At guard, number 14, Wes Salisbury. And at guard, number 32, Braxton Keatley. They're coached by Chase Parsley. And that'll get you fired up. That's uh, a good introduction right here. Like I said, we've got a great crowd. Should be a great one. Betsy Lane starting five on the floor as Prestonsburg breaks the huddle. It's going to be Caleb Lawson jumping against Andrew Kidd. And we're about ready to get this one started. Ball's in the air, and it will go to Betsy Lane. Pinte. Prestonsburg opening up in a man-to-man. -man. Here's Robson. Puts it on the floor down the lane, and don't know if that was deflected or what, but did they, get, did they start the shot clock back on that one? Yeah, did yeah. hit the rim. Here's Robinson with it. Get over to Pente. Coach Newsom calls the fist play. See what that one is. Here's Pente working down the side to Robinson. In the corner, kid. Oh, man. I don't think you're going to give him that one. Here's Pente to the bucket. Shot up and good. And one. High off the glass. And I think that foul is going to go against Allen. Or no, uh, Napier. Napier, okay. I think that might be an advantage that Prestonsburg can exploit, but Napier can't pick up, uh, can't get himself in foul trouble, but down low. And Pente's free throws up and good, and we're starting out 3-0 on a and one. Betsy Lane picking up full court, 2-2-1 two, two, pressure. Prestonsburg gets it in the front court. That's Salisbury out of the corner. Shot no good. Three-point shot rims out. Betsy Lane comes off the rebound. That was Lawson with the three-point shot. We saw that in the girls' game, didn't yeah. we? A three-pointer out of that same corner to go down and rim out. Here's Byron Tackett loses it. Prestonsburg comes up with it. Caden Allen giving it over to Salisbury. Betsy Lane going to go man to man. Kicking it back out to Lawson. Here's Keithley with it. He'll give it up. And Robinson tried for the steal, couldn't get it. And uh, shot no good, rebound no good. And Robinson comes out with it to the bucket and up and in. He's tough. Yeah, one on one court, to the yeah. Yeah. open court with him going downhill. And Prestonburg having some problems to get it into the front court. Now they get it in. Keithley stops, fires a three off the rim, no good. Rebound comes off the pin tape. Kid, one on three, holds up now, gives it back over on top of Parsons. Long three, top of the circle, no good. But Tackett goes in, gets a rebound, and he's fouled. And that one's going on, Caden Allen. Betsy Lane right now owning the boards on both ends. Yes. Yeah, they've. Uh, I've got them four to one already. Byron Tackett will be there. Two free throws makes the first. A minute ten in. Betsy Lane up six zero, and we have the first substitution for yeah. Prestonsburg Halbert. as Brian Halbert comes in. He'll replace Lawson. Tack and makes them both. Quick 7-0. 7 nothing. Prestonburg working to get it into the front court. In the lane. Ball loose. Picked back up. Nice ball movement. No shots. And they try to go down low. It's kicked by Betsy Lane. It's going to stay with Prestonsburg. Not sure that ball might not have a little too much air in it. People kind of losing the grip on it there early. Yes. Just on a simple dribble. So. Keithley gets it in. To Allen. 
in the lane. Shot up, no good. That was Halbert just off the bench. Betsy Lane clears the boards. Here's Kidd up front to Robinson. Elbow jumper, no good. Battle for the rebound, and Prestonburg comes off with it. Halbert comes off with the rebound. And Allen loses it. Betsy Lane comes up with the steal. It's odd to see that ball bouncing around like that. Yes. Brady Robson now for Betsy Lane. Gives it to Pente, breaks down the lane, and try to get it over to Kidd, knocked loose. Keithley comes up with it. He might have got away with a double yeah. dribble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here he is, open three. Keithley, no. The rebound comes Ooh. off to Napier, and he's fouled. That's going to go against Pente, and Napier comes up limping a little bit. Four thirty-eight here, first quarter. Pressburg gets the score. Keithley looking for, and what we got? Oh, Napier is going to have oh. to come out. He's uh, yeah. Don't know if he turned an ankle or hit a knee. I, I think uh, he, uh, he might have hit his knee when he went to the yeah. floor, but. He's got a little hitch in his get along. Yes, That's for he sure. does. I didn't know what Parsley was yelling at on there. Here's Keithley. Got it into Allen and nearly thrown into the backcourt. Number three, at Stenham in the lineup. He came in for Napier. Pressburg just working around. One, a lot of one-on-one -on -one right now. Into the corner, Stenham three. He can hit that three-pointer. That was an air ball. Kid comes out with it. Robinson down the lane. Floater no good. Gets his own rebound and rattles out. And Pressburg comes up with it. Boy, I tell you, Robinson missed two point blank that yeah. time. Point blank for him anyway. Yeah, you're not going get, to get by with that very often. And here's Ooh. the drive to the bucket. That's and close. it's going to be a foul called on... Parsons. Parsons. Looked like he might have had yeah. been there, but it goes against Parsons. Got music and Allen into the game. For Betsy Lane. Yeah. Tanner Martin. Oh, Tanner, yes, yes. Yeah, Tanner Martin and Isaiah Allen. And ball comes in. Prestonsburg. Heard the drive, and they're going to be a foul. Number one. That's Brady Robson. Oh, and they're going to give him two shots. Oh, wow. Prestonburg looking for their first points. 3.48 to go. That's Albert at the line with two free throws, and it comes out. Still can't get one to fall. That's three team fouls on Betsy Lane. This short bench, you can't afford that. Exactly. Albert's second free throw comes up short. Board cleared by Kidd for Betsy Lane. Prestonsburg needs to break the ice. Robson into the corner to go. Tanner Martin comes back out on top of the circle. Kidd's going to try to three. No. Rebound comes off. That's a loss and with it. Gives it over to Keithley, sidestep, shot up, no good. Stenum Battle for rebound. rebound, Stenham comes off with it, knocked out of bounds, Dang. it's going to stay with Prestonsburg. Prestonsburg's got a lid on the goal down here. They have. <laughs> not really getting a good look at it. No, though. they're really not. And looking to get it in, there's Keithley. Keithley had a couple open threes, and that's, uh, as far as the good shot, that's what they've had, and here he misses the jumper in the lane. Betsy Lane and got out seven nothing though. They've not took advantage no, of the cold shooting so far themselves. They haven't. If you're Prestonsburg, you probably feel pretty good only being down seven. Here's Kid with it. He drives Lane. Behind the back pass into Martin. He loses it. Neither team very efficient on the offensive end right no. now. West Salisbury gets his offense set, running a 1 4 set. Here's Keithley. Pente on him. 
And contested shot in the lane, no good. Pintay comes out with it, gives it over to Robson. One on one to the bucket and to blocked defense. out of bounds that time by Halbert. It's going to stay with Betsy Lane. Pintay steps out of bounds to trigger it in. Comes in Robson, drives the baseline, and he's hammered. See who they give it to. Going to give it to Salisbury. Uh, Salisbury. Brady Robson hard to the rim. He went up. He was going to Tommy <laughs> off that one. <laughs> he was. He, he's Tomahawk a few. Yes. Probably the most athletic gifted player on the floor. Oh, absolutely. This is the free throw. He's probably, he's one of the top three or four athletes in the region. Receiving some looks at yeah, that, basketball at the next level, but I think that he's more interested in playing football. That's what I was going to say. He's probably, when I say that about the region, I'm talking football and basketball. Yes. Makes the second free throw. It's 8 nothing. Betsy Lane, 217, and here's uh, a steal, Robinson, and just didn't get that quite run ago where that was getting ready to be. Yes, got the finger roll, and it's a 10 0 lead. Betsy Lane, here's the pass deflected. Salisbury comes up with it, stops free throw line jumper, and Prestonburg finally gets on the board with two minutes to go here in the yeah. first quarter. But the good thing is, like I said, they're only down eight points. I mean, yes. as bad as you've played. Here's Robson, the inside the kid. He's triple teamed, and he's going to be fouled. Caleb Lawson is going to pick that one up. Four team fouls for Prestonsburg. Andrew Kidd will be at the line. He has it scored. Now he has as he makes the free throw. Eleven two, one forty three left here. First quarter. Kid will have one more. Makes them both, and that gives Betsy Lane a chance to get into the full court pressure. And I think they're going to get uh, Isaiah Allen on the hold. Yeah, they. I, I've been watching it. They, uh, they're both double teaming the ball here, and I thought they were getting a little handsy the last couple possessions. Yeah. So they changed the defense this time, and here's a near steal by Tackett. Albert comes up with it, give it over to Salisbury. Salisbury on the dribble, gives it up. Halbert no. down the lane, partially blocked. Byron Tackett comes off the rebound, gives it to Kidd. He'll bring it into front court for Betsy Lane. Spin move uh, in the lane. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh, continuation, NBA. Wow. And only had one hand on the ball. Salisbury will pick up the foul. That's going to be his second, I think. Yes, isn't it? it is. What a move. What a move. So, Kidd will go to the line, trying to complete the three-point play. He does, and he's on the 5-0 run. Yeah, what, what a move. He only had one hand on the ball there yeah. the whole time. It was like Salisbury was holding his left hand. Cradled the ball. Yeah, and just finishes through contact. 15 to 2. Halbert. Freshenberg still in the backcourt. Now Halbert to get it across the timeline. Caden Allen to Keithley. Allen on Keithley now. Got a Caden Allen and an Isaiah Allen, one on each team now. And here's a double team. Gives nice. Allen a beautiful give and go that time as Connor Napier gets his first bucket. Nice ball movement that time by Prestonsburg. 15-4, 40 seconds left here first quarter. See if Betsy Lane tries to work for the last shot as Robinson has it out at the timeline. Drives, now he'll kick it back to Pente. Oh, excuse me, that's Parsons. Pente's probably on the bench. He had the two fouls, I think, didn't he? Yes. Ooh. And oh, and Byron Tackett throws it away. Unforced air. Yes. So with 22 seconds, Prestonsburg will have a chance for the last shot. 
See if Preston's bird can make them pay. If they can get it in Ooh, bounds. That was close. That was close. Salisbury with it. Carson's on him. There's Keithley. Spin move to the baseline. Float Ooh, what a block. block by Kidd. Ooh. Oh, they're saying goal team. Oh, I don't know. Wow. I don't I thought thought that might have been a good one. Nevertheless, give him the bucket. Ten seconds left, though. Gives Betsy Lane another opportunity. I let Andrew work right here, and you know, Napier's already got one foul. And oh, <laughs> what a shot. Foul. Whew. That's two circus shots. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first half, <laughs> uh, first quarter, excuse me, 17 to 6. Betsy Lane over Prestonsburg. This is your Intermount Sports Network. <laughs> AppalachianWireless.com is here to make your life easier and save you money. Sign in or create a self-care account to pay bills, view usage, or check contract dates. You can also apply for paperless billing and auto pay to save up to $5 per phone for a month on postpaid plans. Forward pay customers, you can also renew or change your plans and pay your bills online as well. It's self-care at AppalachianWireless.com because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. God bless me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Back here at Prestonsburg, 17 to 6. Betsy Lane on top of the Black Cats, and Prestonsburg just really couldn't get anything to go. Well, they had two buckets and then the goal 10, which was questionable. Yeah. To, yeah. They'll have it start this second quarter. It'll come into Salisbury. Pente back in the lineup for Betsy Lane. And here, Salisbury yeah, falls out. down. Robinson goes down and throws it down. Oh, and he's had an opportunity for that a couple of times. Here's a steal from behind. Robinson again gives it over to Parsons, puts it up and in. And Bressenberg needs a quick timeout as Betsy Lane comes out and scores four points before Bressenberg can get it across the timeline. Yeah, that's um, when, when you start with the ball, you get the ball, and 20 seconds in, you you haven't even got it across half court, and they've scored four. They that's, not, four. that's not the recipe for success No, if you're Prestonsburg. And both of them kind of unforced. Uh, I mean, you, Wayne, Wayne, Brady, you can't. Wayne's looking pretty good on that prediction, ain't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, you, you know, you can't, uh, Brady, you're not going to cross over Brady very often, right? Right in front of his face. Yes. I mean, that's kind of so asking for Bruce it. Bruce Burr will have it trying to get it into the front court. As Betsy Lane putting pressure on now. It's a man-to-man, -man, but they're trapping out of it. Yep. That was ball was knocked loose. Albert down the lane and oh, got it. a shot to go. Here's Robinson firing up the three. Comes off short. Keithley with the rebound in a hurry. Behind his back, loses it, stops. Eight foot in the lane, scores. Our old buddy Robbie Roberts out of Sevierville, Tennessee, watching these Bobcats. 21-10. Betsy Lane with the lead. Here's Pente. He stops and knocks down the 15-foot. They're kind of giving Andrew that shot there, and he's handing it off to Pente. There's Ooh. Halbert on the other end, and wow. he's going to be fouled as it's going to go against Byron Tackett. Halbert uh, looks like uh, initiated a lot of yeah, contact on that. I think that that's one. what Coach Newsom's pretty fired up. I, again, I don't know if you're tacking what else you can do there. Right. I mean, you're you're just standing there and he jumps into you. Well, all, all levels of basketball, you see that play, yeah. uh, that foul called against the defense more than you do the offense. Yeah. Brian Halbert. Knocks the first one down. He's come off the bench, give him a big lift here in this uh, yeah. first half. 
He'll have one more. Falk race 643 left. 2311. Make it 2312. Betsy Lane. Oh, two one two. Pressburg the 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 yeah, two one two half court trout. Robinson three county. Don't yeah. leave him open, folks. No, you can't do that. What do you have? Thirty some other night against uh, Floyd Central, and there's a shot no good. Napier gets the rebound. He's fouled on the putback. Mm, that's on Tackett. That's two in a row. That's who it's going to be. Yep. Two on Tackett. Connor Napier will be at the line shooting too. That's what frustrates you if you're a coach is you probably shouldn't have picked up that first foul. And now all of a sudden the first foul you get, now you got two, you're probably going to come out for the rest of the half. And we've got number two coming into the lineup for Betsy Lane, Tanner Martin. And you're right as Byron Tackett will take a seat on the bench as Connor splits a pair at the free throw line. 26-13, Betsy Lane. Mm. Still got six minutes here in this first half. Here's Kid down Good the lane, pass. hands it off. Oh, Pente, man. Kid. Pente couldn't uh, finish up, so Kid said, I'll take this one, and he puts it back in. Down the lane, Allen puts it up and in. Walk. And, no, called the walk before the shot. Took the shuffle, then the two. So turnover in Prestonsburg. Andrew with nine points already. Working hard. Especially down the paint. And here he goes again to the bucket. Shot up and good. Yeah. And they're just bringing him outside. And uh, he's uh, breaking Prestonsburg's defense down on the dribble. On the other end, Halbert puts it up and in. That's good answer. Halbert, the same, both his yep. buckets has come on the drive down the paint. Yeah, he's got six this quarter. 30-15. Robinson good pass. kicks it out. Pente, runner, no good. Freshman comes up with it. Napier uh -oh. and Pente, Pente slipped in behind uh -oh. him, knocks it loose, and puts it up and in. That's his game right there. On the other end, Halbert, and he loses his out of bounds. On the drive, he'll go back to Betsy Lane. Betsy Lane's just clicking right now. Yeah, 17-point lead. Number 11, Caleb Lawson returns the lineup for Prestonsburg. Andrew's got 11, Brady's got 10. That's the recipe you want if you're Betsy Lane. And Pente's got seven. And here's Kid. Fake the step back, kicks it back out to Parsons. That's They're going to reset it. To not force the shot. Here's Parsons, drives the baseline, breaks open, and Ooh, the ball knocked good loose. Play. Parsons turned around, felt something hit him on the leg, and throws it out to Pente. Tanner Martin with the rebound, puts it up, no good. Battle in there, Pente knocks it out, and Parsons comes up with it. The little guy's down low uh, doing yeah. some work that time. Here's Robinson on the drive, kicks Good it pass. back out on top. Kid, three in the air, comes up short, and it'll go out of bounds to Prestonsburg. Good pass. Robinson midair. It's like the old uh, Luca pass. Yes. Betsy Lane had a lot of opportunities that time with the offensive rebound, just couldn't yeah. get that one to fall. There's Hawkins. Salisbury down low to go to Napier. He's got it knocked loose and it's picked up by Tanner Martin. Long pass up court to Parsons. Now they'll set it up, give it to Kid, and oh. uh, called him for the charge and don't see that one either. No. No. I, I think he dipped his shoulder a little bit, but I think Napier just kind of jumped in front of him at the last second. And coach uh, talking to the official, not liking that one. Freshenberg no. gets it in. Here's Salisbury down the lane. Floater, no good. Rebound, Pente. 
Robinson with it into the front court and loses it. Just right, it slipped right out of his hand, and Salisbury comes up with it. And on the other end, Pente knocks the long pass out. It'll stay with Prestonsburg. A lot of action, no scoring. No. Yeah. Yeah, we have. It's been up and down the last couple of possessions. It has been. 32 15, Bates Lane with the lead with 3.30 to go here in the first half. Tanner Martin on Halbert. And get it in the corner to Lawson. Then side to Napier puts it up and in. Somebody lost Napier on that one. And Pressburg got it down low to him, and he was wide open. Robinson with it. Calls for Pente to come out. He'll have it. Betcha Lane trying to get something set up. There's Robinson fakes the three. Elbow jumper puts it up and no good. Rebound comes off Caleb Lawson. I like to see Brady take that all the way to the goal. Yes. Well, you know, they've been taking it and uh, got a couple calls. Didn't go their way. And I think it's kind of uh, yeah. slowed them down a little bit as there's a pass. Trying to get it inside and out of bounds. It's going to go to Betsy Lane. Taking Two twenty-nine left first half. Betsy Lane with the fifteen point lead. Scoring has slowed down some here the last two or three minutes for both teams. Betsy Lane working in the front court. Parsons, the kid. Kid. Double team gets it back out to Parsons. Parsons backs out the timeline. Now he goes down the right side to the bucket. Shot up and no good. Wow. And Fisher said no foul, get up on the other end. And going to be a foul called on Lawson. As who was that took the charge? Was that uh, Pente? Pente. Yeah. yeah. 16 fouls now for Prestonburg, seven for Betsy Lane. Two on Lawson. And he'll probably set out the rest of this yeah. first half. Pente with it in the front court. Seen uh, Robinson running the point a lot more than you normally see. There's Kid turn around. That's tough. Up and good. Just backed his defender down onto the baseline. Just turned around and raised above him and shot it. Yeah. He's having a good game offensively. There's Halbert on the other end to Keithley. Has Keithley scored? Had yeah, the he's one, got two. Had the one bucket. Yeah, yeah he's got four. Okay. <clears throat> he got the goal 10 in the bucket. Yes. And here's Stenham. Just not able to handle the pass. He was open under the bucket. Off his hands out of bounds. It'll go back to Betsy Lane. Yeah, Keithley's the leading scorer for yes. Prestonsburg. Held him to four so far. Robinson with it. The kid. They just opened the lane up, letting Good kid pass. run, and he kicks it down inside Tanner Martin as Martin's man came off to double-team kid, and he found the open Everybody teammate. just staring at Andrew, waiting on Andrew to make a move and take the shot. There's Halbert, and he misses it. Put back up and in. Was that? Napier. Yeah, Napier. 36-19, Betsy Lane. We've got... 35 seconds left here, first half. Pente kicks it back out on top to Kid. And Keithley goes for the steal, don't get it. Carson's down low, Martin again, put it up, uh, no good. It's got to convert that if you, if you take that shot, it has to be you wide make, open layup. Yes. There's Keithley, double team, looking for help. Ball knocked loose. Robson comes up with it. Long three-pointer oh. off the rim. And that brings us to the end of the first half. 36-19, Betsy Lane over Brestonsburg. We'll be back shortly with some halftime stats if you're in Mountain Sports Network. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. 
I started with this, a whole home security system. With 24-7 monitoring, we control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Appalachianwireless.com is here to make your life easier and save you money. Sign in or create a self-care account to pay bills, view usage, or check contract dates. You can also apply for paperless billing and auto pay to save up to $5 per phone for a month on postpaid plans. Forward pay customers. You can also renew or change your plans and pay your bills online as well. It's self-care at AppalachianWireless.com because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Any home can be improved with better Wi-Fi. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Wi-Fi, a reliable signal throughout your home, enhanced by mobile app features. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to learn more. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. With Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville, you can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click GearheartFiber.com to find out more. We're back at Prestonburg at the half of the night's second game. Prestonsburg and Betsy Lane, and Betsy Lane holds the 17 point lead at the half, 36 19. Justin's got some numbers for it. For Prestonsburg, uh, they were led in scoring by Connor Napier with seven points, Brian Halbert with six points, four points for Braxton Keithley, and two for Wes Salisbury. They were three for six from the free throw line. For Betsy Lane, led in scoring by uh, Andrew Kidd with 13 points, 10 points for Brady Robinson, seven for Cameron Pinte, two apiece for Byron Tackett, Carter Parsons, and Tanner Martin. And they were seven for eight from the free throw line. And I had Betsy Lane 15 to seven out rebounding Prestonsburg. Uh, 
And Betsy Lane, that was five offensive rebounds, and Prestonsburg had three offensive rebounds. So, you know, if you're – Prestonsburg just kind of – I mean, you're letting Betsy Lane dictate everything you do defensively. Uh, they've just turned uh, – kind of like Prestonsburg girls did in that first game. Right. Um, just putting everything is very difficult for Prestonsburg to get good looks. And, you know, they're turning that into some easy – uh, fast break points here. You know, Brady's got two just point blank. One was a dunk, one was a finger roll. Right. And you can't give them those easy baskets like that. Well, then uh, you also had Parsons uh, scoring his uh, bucket off a steal and a, a feed yep. from Robinson. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, uh, Pente, uh, Betsy Lane missed a couple bu uh, shots, and Pente uh, uh, steals. Uh, the ball from the rebounder and puts it up. So, yeah, just uh, uh, just hus out hustling Prestonburg, getting the 50-50 balls. But the defense, Betsy Lane played a man-to-man -man defense, but they're coming off and they're switching on that, and it's uh, Prestonburg wasn't able to uh, solve that in right. the first half. They're averaging. I was looking. Prestonburg averages six three-pointers a game, and they get to hit one so yeah. far. Yeah. 36-19 at the half. Betsy Lane over Prestonsburg. We'll send it back to station when we return. We'll have to start a second half this year in the Mountain Sports Network. Gearheart Security Smart Home Holiday Bundles are here. Combine blazing fast broadband and home security to save some cash, plus a free security camera. We also offer home security takeovers, life sentry, camera-only specials with financing available. Find out more at gearheartsecurity.com slash specials or call us at 1-800-264-1730. Stop by our new location in Herald to enter to win a free Yeti cooler. Everything you love about TV and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Plus, easily find and watch your favorite shows. Anywhere, on any device. Great for the entire family and easy to use. Buying a home, it's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we're committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strength only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Nutt County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. If you love all kinds of TV, you'll love Gearheart TV. It's the great new streaming video app from Gearheart Broadband for your smart TV, streaming video player, or mobile device. Gearheart TV offers lots of great channels you love to watch live, on the go, or later with cloud DVR. Gearheart TV, powered by Gearheart Broadband. Click mygtv.com to sign up. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. AppalachianWireless.com is here to make your life easier. Sign in or create a self-care account to pay bills, view usage, or check contract dates. You can also apply for paperless billing and auto pay to save up to $5 per phone per month on postpaid plans. It's self-care from Appalachian Wireless. Back here at Prestonsburg, getting ready to start the second half, 36 to 19. Betsy Lane on top. Looks like it's going to be Betsy Lane ball to start the third quarter here. If you're a Prestonsburg, you kind of want to set a good tone uh, right out of the gate here. I mean, you're down 17 points, and, you know, going into that fourth quarter, you need that to be around the 10 mark 
uh, or maybe under if you can, but, you know, it, trading baskets is just not going to help you at this point. Right. But, uh, looks like they're going to start out in a little 2-3. May not be a bad idea. You know, man-to-man -man obviously didn't work out great for you. Well, Betsy Lane was just spreading the floor and getting the drives yeah. to the bucket. And there's Parsons throwing it away. And on the other end, shot oh. no good. Rebound comes off the tacket. Rims out. Here's Robinson. In the corner, kid, three in the air. Count it, Andrew Kidd. He's having a game. He is. He's already got 16. 16. On the other end, here's Napier with it, looking for help. Salisbury, Allen down the lane, floater up, no good. Rebound comes off. That's Pente with it for Betsy Lane. Prestonburg's had two good looks at yeah. it, about six or eight foot from the bucket and not been able to get either one of them to fall to start yeah. this third quarter. To give yourself a chance, you're going to have to convert on a lot of those. Here's Pente over to Tack. Inside it go. Kid turn around. Off. No good. Rebound comes off. That's Salisbury with it. There's Lawson. He'll hand off to Salisbury. They come back out on top now. Reset. Betson Lane in the man to man. They go to the one four set. Keithley. Pente on him. Tight deep in yeah. Betsy Lane. Prestonburg just having a uh, tough time just to move the basketball. Here's Keithley with it. Pente tracking him. Salisbury with it. Tough man to man defense. Yeah, I'm telling you, it is. Now they'll go double stack. There's Lawson with it. Top the circle, free throw line, kicks it back out to Allen. Salisbury on the drive, hands it off to Napier and puts it up and in. They finally got a nice yeah. bucket to fall, but a lot of time taking off yeah. the clock to get there. 39-21, they're down 18. Robinson faked the three, give it to Kid down low, tack it, and has it knocked loose. Lawson comes up with it. Salisbury now. Keithley on the drive. Napier, he's going to step out, try a three-pointer. Fire the grazes the rim. Robinson on the run to the other end. Shot up, no good. Ooh. And a foul call. Salisbury. It's his third. Brady Robinson be at the line for two. And rims out. What what's what's wrong with that rim? <laughs> the, How many the, times have we seen is, that on, on this rim? Yeah, down here? this is the one that's giving everybody the trouble. <laughs> yes. Robinson second one good. 40-21, Betsy Lane. Napier with it. And now he'll get it over to Keithley. Trapped in the corner. And Byron Tackett's going to pick up. Is that his third or fourth? No. Oh, yeah. That'll be his third. Yeah, he put him on the bench there when he picked up that second. Thought that was a quick whistle with the trap, but he may have got him right on the arm. Yeah, he reached in when he knocked it loose and got him by the arm, he said. Robson with the block on Napier, but it goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with Prestonsburg. 5.05 left third quarter. Bets lane by 19. Lawson working against Pente, has it knocked loose, ball on the floor, scramble for it, and we've got to tie up and hit a stay with Prestonsburg. Not quite as many jump balls this game. No. <laughs> Last Nothing. game, the second half, was the third quarter was rough. It was. Tanner Martin coming in for Byron Tackett. As Don't want him to was, pick up that fourth here. Yes, third foul whistled on Byron. And Salisbury looking to five. get it in, and yep. five-second count. Tough defense right yep. now by the Bobcats. Yep. 
this is where the the zone kind of hurts you to a degree here too because betsy lane can be as patient as they want to be right there's robson runner up and good don't look like they want to be very patient though no just well you know when you got good opening yeah. you, you got a, a lane that open you got to take it and there's keithley with the runner it's no good pente comes off with it robson and he's to the bucket and gives it over to parsons had it blocked goes up again has it blocked and it's going to stay with betsy lane good pass by robinson yes when they, when Robinson goes to the bucket, he's yeah. going to draw some defensive yeah. players, so you better, better be ready for yeah. it because he will give it up. Oh, man. Left him wide open. Yeah, here he is with the three. He got rims out again. How many times did I say it on yeah. that rim? And here's a double team. Keithley, Napier into the front court. Halbert, three, County. First three pointer for Prestonsburg tonight. They average six a game, and Coach, Par or Coach Parsley is uh, wanting a timeout. It's going to be a 30. 42 24. Prestonsburg needed that one. Yes, big time. Yeah, they um going to have to dial up some stops. I mean, it, you know, you can convert. I mean, you're already. I mean, you've dug yourself such a deep hole, you're going to have to get stops and convert. And they've missed a couple of easy ones there at the start of the third quarter that are uh, going to have to have. Well, and Betsy Lane being their own worst enemy right yeah. now, they've missed a couple of, yeah. of, of uh, easy shots herself and uh, throwing the ball away, trying to thread the needle sometimes with a pass they don't really need to. Yeah. Or their lead could be bigger than what it is. Stenham trying to get in the game, but it was uh, too late on the substitution, so he'll have to wait for the stoppage, the uh, first uh, stoppage on the live ball. Here's Parsons, gets it over to Kidd. It's knocked loose. Keithley with it. Steps back, fires it up, no good. Rebound comes off, that's Parsons with it. Pente Parsons on the drive, he loses it. Tanner Martin picks it up. Pente open for the three, no good. Martin battling for it, comes off with it. Carson's on the drive, and going to be a foul. It's four on Salisbury. On the drive, and yes, yeah, Salisbury. Yeah. Betsy Lane has it, Carson. Comes in to Robinson, fakes the three, puts it on the floor. <laughs> wow. Finger rolls it, gets knocked down, ball loose, Pressenberg on the run. Stenham three, no. And Pente comes up with the loose ball. Uh, it's knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Betsy Lane. Lawson coming in for Keithley. 322 left third quarter, Betsy Lane by 18. And play is getting a little ragged. Yeah. Pente over to Martin to Kid. Shot no good. A lot good of, defense that yeah. time by Napier. And on the other end, Allen throws it away. No, they say it's Ooh. tipped out of bounds. I don't think it was tipped. He may have got the old, he fouled him and I didn't call it. I'll give him the ball, but he definitely didn't touch that ball. <laughs> Fish will struggle a little bit tonight, yeah. too, at times. Yeah. Here's in the Halbert working in the lane. Shot no good. Napier comes up with it, and he's fouled. I think maybe Andrew Kidd. No. Parsons are saying. Yeah. Zero. Be his second. Connor Napier will be at the line for two. 42-24, and it will remain that as Napier misses the first free throw. 252 left, third quarter. Napier makes the second. Both teams scoring slowed down a lot here in this third quarter. 
Here's Pente in the corner to Parsons. Kid, has he scored the second half? Uh, yeah, I think he's got two. Pente, Tanner Martin, shot no good. Rebound comes off. That's Stenham. Oh, he's, yes. Or no, that's Allen, excuse me. And then Lawson on the other end with the finger roll. And Coach Newton won the timeout. So it's going to be a full. We'll take one, two. This year in the Mountain Sports Network. Life's unfortunate events happen. We sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. 42 to 27, Betsy Lane still on top by 15, 227 to go in the third quarter. Prestonburg going to pick up a Look, little one, two, looks one, like, one, or man to man. Looks maybe. like man to man. Yeah. Parson gets over to Pente. They break it. Pente at the free throw line gives it to Byron Tackett. He misses it. Mm, Got to have those. Halbert comes off with the rebound. Got to have those. Done everything but score. Yeah. You break it that easy, you got to make them pay. There's Halbert kicking it out to Allen. Three, count it. It's a big one. That's big. Pente in the front court from Betsy Lane. Down to 12. Give them a little life. Give it to Robinson. Has it knocked loose? Tack it with it. But you got to look at kid here. And Robinson. Byron Tackett. Andrew Kidd, he wanted to shoot the three. Now he backs out. And takes it down the lane and misses it. Making those in the first half, yep. missing them here. On the other end, Lawson puts it up and in. Down to 10. It's a 10-point lead. And here's Robson on the other end. And calling a charge on Robson. He hit second. Bracesburg on a run. 7-0 run, and they'll have it. Allen out of bounds. Gets it in to Stenham. Betts Lane picking up man-to-man -man full court. Allen's needing some help. And going to sell it out of bounds on the other end, so he turned it over. You got, you, they left him stranded down here. He picked his dribble up, but yeah. they, nobody came to the ball. Kind of left him on an island by himself. And all of a sudden, Betts and Lane's struggling to score. Yeah. Robson, they're going to double-team him and throw it to Pente. He nearly lost it. Here back to Robson on the drive down the lane. Ball knocked out of bounds. Off yeah. his knee, it's going to go back ball. to Prestonsburg. I mean, they may have got him with the foul, but that definitely bounced right off his leg. Yes. Yeah. That was a pretty good no-call, though. Here on the other end, Ooh. Napier up and in, and it's an eight-point game. What a run. 42-34. Betts Lane in the front court here, Robson with it. 35 seconds left. Kid out of the corner, three, no. And Stenham comes off the rebound. On the move oh, yeah. at the free throw line, no good. Napier with the rebound, no good. He's fouled. Had Allen over here wide open on the wing. Yes. 
And Andrew Kidd with the foul. Napier will be at the line for two. Split a pair of the lifetime he's there. I know you're a Bengals fan. One of the <laughs> had a comment on her Facebook said, "Look like the same fish eating crap." Oh God, Bengals yeah, game. yeah. That we definitely didn't catch any breaks on that one. That's for sure. <laughs> and Napier makes the second. Forty-two thirty-five. Bates Lane's eighteen-point lead down to seven, and there's Kid. No good, and knocked out of bounds by Martin. That's where kids looking for, you know, Napier's looking to take the charge, and he's trying to avoid it. Yes. Might want to just pull up and. Yeah, yeah you, uh, dribble less than what you're doing. Here's Pente with the steal. Takes it in, oh, and man. it's Brock Robinson there, puts it up and in. Two seconds, and Preston's not going to get a shot off. So at the end of three, 44-35. Prestonsburg trails by nine this year in the Mountain Forge Network. Gearhart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. You can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearhart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click GearhartFiber.com to find out more. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Nutt County Sportsplex. If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. <laughs> Back here at Prestonsburg, 44 to 35. Prestonsburg gets it under 10 to start the fourth quarter here. Betsy Lane ball to start the fourth. They've got all the momentum here. Boy, they did, and then they turned it over with yeah. like 10 seconds left and let Betsy Lane get an easy one on the other end, or it could have been closer. Yeah. And that tight defense that Betsy Lane was playing all, uh, all of a sudden is uh, switched yeah. over to uh, yes. the uh, red and white as Prestonsburg's putting the D on now. Yeah. Here's Pente driving it, gives it to Kid. Kid working in the lane, spin move, shot up, and good. Wow. What a tough shot. Boy, they just spread the floor and let him have it, give him a chance to work, and uh, he took on a double team and beat it. Betsy Lane calls for a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. That bucket my kid puts Betsy Lane's lead back into double figures at 11. Usually don't see that timeout that quick. Only 14 seconds in, but I'm sure Coach Newsom with the short, short bench, you know what I mean? That kind of gives them an extended rest. Right. And uh, probably got something he might want to exploit here. I think, uh, don't don't remember for sure, but I don't think Robson's come off the floor, has he? No, no, and, he's not. And maybe, uh, maybe I don't think, even Parsons, I think, maybe. No, I don't think Kidd has either. The only two subs you've had, um, Allen and Martin. Yes. Oh. And here's a near steal by Parsons. Allen comes up with it, kicks it into the corner. Halbert and oh wow, a charge Wait right on, on Allen Robinson. Well, he Just drove the uh, Allen uh, drove the lane, kicked it in the corner, but couldn't stop its momentum and called for the foul. And, that, and that's one thing that's uh, not been a lot of here in this second half is fouls. That's only three on Prestonsburg and four on Betsy Lane. Betsy Lane working in the front court with it. Pente on the drive down the lane. Shot up. No good. Yeah. And Kid's going to go over to the back, pick up the foul for Betsy Lane. See his second, or his, his third. He only had two on him. Five team fouls for Betsy Lane.
Here's Allen in the front court. Halbert fires up the three. Count it. Prestonsburg never hit one in the first half. They averaged six a game, and they've had, what, three so far yeah. here in the second half? Yeah, Halbert's hit two. Pente gets across the timeline. Gets it over to Robinson. Lawson. Now they come out with Halbert and double team Robinson. He goes back over to Pente. Somebody's open. Here's Kidd driving. Raises up off the glass. No good. Lawson comes off the rebound. Preston's first down by eight. They ain't been this close in a long time. And here's the steal. Robinson throws it down in one hand. Two times tonight, yeah. he's come off with the steal and threw it down on the other end. Back to 10 for Betsy Lake. And try to go inside past Tilt. Kid comes up with it. Oh. And we got a foul called on Napier. That's tough. I'm, I don't think it was anything. Well, I, I, him and Pente went to the floor, and I think what they called was Pente was trying to get up, and Napier was trying to hold him. Yeah. Keithley back in for Prestonsburg as well as Salisbury. Byron Tackett back in for Betsy Lane. Robinson. Kid. They've got numbers. Kid down the lane. Shot up. No good. A lot of contact. Nothing called. Prestonsburg on the other end. Lawson three. No. And Carter Parsons come out with it. And he gave it over to Robinson. 545 left in the ball game. Betsy Lane with the 10 point lead. Want to be patient this time with it. Spread the floor. They got Kid up at the free throw line. Nobody in the lane for Betsy Lane. This is where the zone hurts you a little bit because you let them. And there's Parsons, and he's blocked by Napier. That one little hesitation yep. there gave Napier time to recover. Here's Lawson down the lane, put that up and in. Lead back to eight. Betsy Lane working in the front court. Robinson to Pente. Kid calling for it at the foul line. Got Napier on him. Here's Robinson driving. Back out on top, into the corner to go. Betsy Lane being very deliberate right now. Back to the man-to-man, -man. look well. That's Kid Robinson raises up for a three, no good. Rebound comes off for Lawson. And ball knocked loose. Carter Parsons with it. And throws it off the rim for a Robson. He Ooh. misses it. Oh. And then oh. that second bounce about costing the bucket yeah. on that one. Robson was able to recover and put it in. Lead back to eight. And Keithley down the lane. Has it blocked. Kid out to Robson. Back to Kid to the bucket. Shot up and in. And Coach Parsley is wanting the timeout. It's going to be a full 52-40. Four minutes left. This is Mountain Sports Network. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come bless me, Dad. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. If you love all kinds of TV, you'll love Gearheart TV. It's the great new streaming video app from Gearheart Broadband for your smart TV, streaming video player, or mobile device. Gearheart TV offers lots of great channels you love to watch live, on the go, or later with cloud DVR. Gearheart TV. 
powered by Gearheart Broadband. Click mygtv.com to sign up. Two to go, 52 to 40. Betsy Lane on top. Prestonsburg's got as close as eight yes. or seven. Yeah, seven at one time. And they'll get it in to Keithley. Back over to Allen. Has it knocked loose, and Allen knocks it out of bounds. Great defense that time, Carter Parsons. Yeah. Not sure Allen's the guy you want bringing the ball up the floor. No, I think you should have been Salisbury, in or, Salisbury or Lawson. Yeah. Little mop-up duty on the floor for the official. Don't get paid extra for that. Don't get paid extra <laughs> for it. Here's, here's Parsons looking to get it in, and he'll throw it in the backcourt to Robinson. Back to Parsons. Open three. Up. Good. Carter Parsons. That's big. That's a dagger there. And That's back to 15. Back to 15. Like uh, Justin said, it's down to seven at one time. On the other end, Keithley tries to answer no and got Stenham over the back. Nice block out that time by Pente. And Betsy Lane will have the basketball. Five team fouls both ways. No foul shots. 334 left. Pente in the front court with it. Parsons over to Robson. Here's Robson on the handoff from Kidd to the bucket. Put it up and in. <laughs> Brady Robson just dribbling through the defense. And it's back to a 17 point lead. What it was at the half, yeah. wasn't it? Kid's got 20, Robinson 19. There's Salisbury, a nice little runner in the lane off the glass and in. Parsons. Byron take it. He faked that. And I, if he'd have took that one, he'd been back on the bench, yeah. in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you're right. Here's Kid to the bucket up and one. And Betsy Lane has spread the floor and went back to what they were doing in the first quarter when they got out on the big lead. Yeah. Just taking it to the bucket, 101, and beating Prestonsburg defense. Yeah, they've, uh, Prestonsburg's tried to, I mean, they've kind of been forced to go back to that man-to-man -man as the clock's running out here. And just one-on-one, -on -one, you just can't handle Kidd and Robinson at this point. And Andrew Kidd completes the three-point play. Lead back to 18. Stenham long three, no. Right and Prestonsburg uh, might have run out a little steam there. Had had the, the big run, cut the 18-point lead to seven, but not been able to get any closer. Now, the air is kind of let out of the building a little bit here. And there was Byron Tackett with the miss. Prestonsburg with the rebound. Halbert. A lot of bumping going on up the floor between him and Pente, and then... On the other end, Pente reaches in. They called the foul. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was the foul. Six, oh. 16 fouls now, both teams. Robinson on Salisbury. Pente on Keithley. Stenham three, count it. Stenham can hit the three. Yes. And Prestonburg calls the timeout. 30 seconds. Now it's going to be a full 203 odds left. Bet you lane by 15 this year in the Mountain Force Network. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Any home can be improved with better Wi-Fi. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Wi-Fi, a reliable signal throughout your home, enhanced by mobile app features. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to learn more. AppalachianWireless.com is here to make your life easier. Sign in or create a self-care account to pay bills, view usage, or check contract dates. You can also apply for paperless billing and auto pay to save up to $5 per phone per month on postpaid plans. It's self-care from Appalachian Wireless. 
60 to 45. Betsy Lane trying to hang on with 2.03 to go. And they all have it bringing it to the length of the floor. Preston Burke comes out in a 2 1 2 full court pressure. And Pente breaks it all the way to the baseline, round and back out to Robs. Betsy Lane just going to take time off the clock yeah. if they have an open lane to the bucket or a. And here's a foul called on Keithley. Is that his first? Yeah, first foul. And that will be the one and one. Robinson will be at the line for Betsy Lane. Not very many free throws shot here in this second half by either team. No, Betsy Lane. And Robinson misses it. That's just their fourth free throw. Caden Allen with the rebound. Hustles up the court, stops, free throw line jumper, in and out. He comes off the rebound. He's going to take it in to end, and he's going to be fouled. And he'll go to the line for the one and one. And Keithley picks that foul up. Two in a row. Andrew Kidd will be at the line. This will be the one and one. And he comes up short. Right? Two front ends. Front ends, one and ones. Him and Robinson. And then Keithley. Can't handle the pass out of bounds. It goes back to Betsy Lane. He's waiting on it to get to him and waiting for it to bounce, and it kind of skipped yeah. across the floor. Took his eye off it. Here's Pente with it. Started down the sideline, didn't thought better of it, went to the middle of the floor. Here's Andrew Kidd in the lane, reverse, shot up, no good. Prestonsburg comes out with it, Hobbert. Ooh. And. <laughs> Oh, hey, Albert to the bucket up and in. Double or walk or something there well, when you jam him like that. Uh, Carter Parsons hit the ball and it kind of hit on his leg. He caught it, put it back on the floor and went to the bucket. So, Tack it. point lead with a minute to go. Yeah, attack it now with it for Betsy Lane. Surprised me that they took those two or three shots that they took yeah. the last couple of trips now. Here inside the kid. And no good, but tack it back up and no good. And Pressburg comes off the rebound. Halbert down the lane, shot up and good. Basket Ryan Halbert. 60 49. Under 30 seconds to go. Here's Kidd on the other end. Parsons back to Kidd to the bucket, puts it up and in and one. And that foul is going to go on Stenham. Betsy Lane's going to hang on to this one. They added yeah. up to 18 at one time. Prestonsburg made a run, cut it to seven. And Kid misses the free throw. Man. 62-49. That's three straight misses. Yeah, two front ends. Albert for the three, count it. He's had a big one. Hey. Quick math, I think that's 19 for him. And that gives the lead to 10. 62-52, and that's where it's going to end as Betsy Lane comes into the field house at Prestonsburg and go, comes away with a road win and a big district win. So we'll take a break. Be right back for some final stats and comments. It's Rent About Sports Network. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come bless me, Dad. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Aftershock Preparedness presents the Gun and Preparedness Sportsman's Expo March 25th and 26th at the Knott County Sportsplex. 
If you're interested in guns, bushcraft, hunting, fishing, homesteading, and prepping, then this show is for you. Over 500 tables of vendors, demonstrations, and national speakers. There's something for every member of the family. Vendor spaces are still available. Contact GunPreparednessExpos.com or visit Aftershock Preparedness at the Red Lights in Allen, Kentucky. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. We're back here at the Pressburg Field House. We have a final of the night's second game, 62-52, Betsy Lane over Pressburg, and Betsy Lane now will move to two, two in the district. And Pressburg will fall to one and three. Yeah, that was uh, that's a big win for Pressburg, and kind of a statement win to kind of. I mean, it was start to finish. I yeah. mean, you know, they they put it on them to start the game and really didn't look back. Uh, Prestonburg made a little run, but uh, couldn't quite get over the hump. Uh, for Betsy Lane, they were led in scoring by Andrew Kidd. He had 25 points, 19 for Brady Robinson, 7 for Cameron Pente, 5 for Carter Parsons, and 2 apiece for Byron Tackett and Tanner Martin. For Prestonsburg, they were led in scoring by Brian Halbert. He had 19 points. Connor Napier with 13 points. Four points for Braxton Keithley. Three for Caden Allen. Three for Mason Stidham. And two for West Salisbury. They were five for 10 from the free throw line. Betsy Lane was nine for 14 from the free throw line. Uh, missed a couple front ends there that might come back to haunt you in a closer game if you're Betsy Lane. But uh, great effort by Betsy Lane. I mean, just defensively, they got all over Prestonburg. Yeah, Prestonburg had one run uh, there about midway in the well, the final uh, four minutes of the third quarter and got that 18 point lead down to uh, seven at one time. But like you said, the uh, Bobcats able to uh, stand the run and extend it back out to 18 at one time, end up winning by 10. If you're following uh, the 58th District Basketball, Prestonsburg will be hosting Floyd Central here Friday night at home. So another big district game for them. And the Intermountain Sports crew will be at Betsy Lane as Betsy Lane will uh, host Lawrence County uh, in. It'll be a doubleheader, boys and girls, and uh, that's a huge uh, game yeah. right now uh, for Betsy Lane and Lawrence County and also Prestonsburg and Floyd Central here. Yes, huge. Uh, because uh, both they, of those games have big implications. Big implications on who's going to be the number one seed uh, going into the district tournament. So that's going to wrap it up here for tonight for Alex back at the station, Wayne Frigate on camera, my partner Justin Obrook, this is Larry Cecil saying so long and good night. 62-52, Betsy Lane over Prestonsburg. This has been High School Basketball on the Intermountain Sports Network.